Vanderbilt will receive our next quarterly Oracle Cloud upgrade during the weekend of May 17th, and following this upgrade, you will see improvements to the Oracle Cloud Expenses module. You'll note first that the overall layout is consistent with prior versions. The Expense Module improvements start with creating or editing individual expenses. On the Expense Entry screen, you will continue to see the same types of expenses and overall expense information fields. However, the Attachments area has been enlarged. You now have a choice between using the drop-down menu or a drag-and-drop feature to attach receipts and other supporting documents. Once attached, the documents will be listed directly below the window. In addition, if you need to itemize your expense, the additional information will now be added directly below the expense details, in contrast to prior versions where a separate page was required. You can expand and collapse the lines to display more or fewer details as desired. Also remember to update the default financial unit in your charge account before entering itemizations if you're charging a different area than your default. This will ensure that the expense report will route to the appropriate financial manager. Note that you are not able to change the default once itemization has been started. There are also improvements in the expenses work area. You will now see that each expense is listed with its date, amount, merchant, and other information in separate columns, in contrast to the prior version of the work area where these details were combined. You can click the down arrow at the top of any column to change how the expenses are sorted. This page now allows you to quickly add or update the description of an expense. Checkboxes have also been added to more easily select one or more expenses. To open and review or update an expense item, click the date hyperlink in the first column or click the checkbox and select Edit from the Actions menu. You can also use the drop-down menu to delete or duplicate expenses. A new Attachments column indicates whether supporting documents have been attached directly to an expense item. A red asterisk indicates that the expense is over $75 such that a receipt is required but has not yet been attached. You can add an attachment directly from the list of expense items. You can also update the expense type from this page. Note, however, that you may lose supporting information when making such a change, so be sure to confirm all the details are correct prior to submission. When you're ready to add items to your expense report, you can now select each item via checkbox or tick the box at the top left corner to select all items. Within an expense report, you will also see the expense information listed in columns with the same ability to update expense type, description, and attachments directly. You can also continue to bring in existing expense items using the Add Existing button and have the ability to apply a project or chart of account string to a selected expense. Use these features carefully as it will apply the selected string to all checked items. Once your report is complete, you'll continue to submit expense reports by acknowledging adherence to the policies and clicking Submit.